We recently passed the 20,000 subscriber milestone for this academic channel. I'm really excited about that and I wanted to create a video specifically to say thank you to all of our subscribers and viewers, followers, everybody who shares these videos, but also to do a little bit of reflection on, on what it means that this kind of channel can actually succeed in, in this environment. Uh, and, and I wanted to think about where we're going from here as well. I thought that could be of, of some interest to, to viewers. So. Um, before I launch into this, I, I want to stress again, thanks very much. I'm humbled by how many people have, you know, not only written nice things uh, to me as messages or on the channel or on Facebook or Google Plus or all these other places, uh, even in blog entries, but uh, how many people have subscribed? How many people have shared these videos? It's really quite amazing to me. Um, this is an academic channel. And so I, I never expected that it would get quite so much traction, particularly since um, when I, I first began, I was, I was just shooting lecture videos. I've since gotten a little bit more high tech, you know, with the half hour Hegel videos and using little bars underneath. But for the most part, this is a very low tech um, substance over style, long lectures, you know, in, in an environment where most people's videos are anywhere from three to ten minutes. And people will watch these things all the way through. So I'm, I'm really happy about that because what that means is that if I'm doing my job well, people are actually engaging with philosophical texts and thinkers and concepts and movements. And I'm able to, to play a role in, in bringing that to them and, and, and in, you know, widening education uh, across the, the Internet. So, you know, for me, this has been a, a really cool thing in, in part because Academia is very stratified, and we live in a stratified society as well, you know, where there's elites and they get to do all sorts of cool, interesting projects. They have all sorts of resources thrown at them, <clears throat> and the rest of us have to compete for what often feels like a shrinking pie. The Internet uh, opens up possibilities that are, uh, you know, quite different in that respect. You know, there's there's really no limit to how much could be put on YouTube. I'm sure there is some limit. Somebody will correct me on that. But for the for the time being, as far as philosophy videos go, it's it's wide open. There's not enough people doing uh, high quality work that that people can use for classes or for lifelong learning or for personal enrichment. And I've been um, you know really happy to see that uh, you know people have used these videos as, as a resource for their own development, for their classes, some, some people actually use them uh, in their curricula. So, you know, what it shows is if you, if you care about what you're doing and you know something about what you're talking about and you're willing to put in the work, you can reach an audience and you don't have to be from MIT or Harvard or have a MOOC or, you know, have, have people backing you or some foundation giving you a grant. You can just upload content. And if it's perceived as quality by people, they're going to use it, share it and uh, recommend it. So this has been a, a great experience for me. And it's, it's turned into something that I now recognize as a uh, something like a calling. I, I can't imagine not doing this for at least the next 10 or 20 years. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the numbers themselves. I, I mentioned that we passed the 20,000 subscribers mark, and that's really cool in and of itself because it's a nice round number, you know. But it's, it's also interesting. We have nearly 2 million views on these videos. We have one hundred or we have one million eight hundred and seventy thousand views that's a lot over the last four or five years even more staggering 18 million estimated minutes have been watched of this content so that's three hundred thousand hours of instruction that people have watched maybe some of it was actually you know just putting it as background noise or some of it was popping on and then watching for five minutes and getting off. But a lot of that has been people watching the entire way through because the, the, the uh, analytics show that people tend to watch these videos um, at least to the halfway mark. You know, I think that's being balanced up by people who get on and then get off. So, you know, 
in effect, what that means is I'm one guy, but this YouTube um, capacity is like a massive multiplier for for educational possibilities. Because there's no way that I could have myself provided 300,000 hours of instruction, even if I was going to teach the rest of my life in a college classroom, even with a, you know, say a class of 100 or 200 people. Um, it's just amazing, you know, that, that by putting something out there, by doing the work to, you know, talk to, to an audience that's not actually here, you can reach an audience and, you know, affect education with this, this massive body of, of people. Who knows what the, the effect of this is going to be 10 years down the line or 20 years down the line. Uh, another thing that's kind of cool that I, I looked up as far as stats was how many comments have been made on these videos. Now, some of these comments are actually me um, when I'm posting the video, you know, um, saying on Google Plus, uh, hey, here's a new video, so you've got to shave off. Let's say we shave off 650 because I've got about that many videos posted right now. And some of them are me actually responding to other people who said, hey, I like this video, saying, oh, glad you liked it. Or, you know, somebody saying, hey, I got a question about this, and then I try to answer the question. But we have on these videos over 17,000 comments. That means that people have been engaging with these. And if you look at the older videos, some of them are still getting comments today. So, you know, videos that I shot four years ago on Plato or Aristotle or Thomas Hobbes. There's still people engaging continuously. It's, um, I don't want to say it's asynchronous because people love that, that sort of word, but rather it, there's no time ending for, for the education that's going on. There's always new people coming to it. Um, so all that said, I think that's all, you know, really cool developments, but I, I do want to um, do a somewhat more extended thanks. So I want to say thanks to all of, all of my subscribers, all more than 20,000 of you now for subscribing, for sharing the videos, those of you who've, who've shared them on your Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus or wherever else you're sharing them. Some people use Reddit. I don't use Reddit, but, you know, I'm, I guess that's, you know, a good thing. Um, thanks for all the comments that people have put. You've given me, in some cases, quite a bit to think about. Uh, many of you have given me a, a boost at times when I needed it, <clears throat> when I was wondering if I was actually doing the right thing and spending so much time on, on producing this content when I could be devoting it to other things. And um, thanks to all of you who have suggested these videos as a resource to your friends, family, fellow students, uh, anybody else who you've, you've brought uh, attention uh, to with, with this sort of stuff. I have some special thanks that I need to give as well. The first one has to go to my wife and partner in, in the company Reason.io, a company devoted to putting philosophy into practice, the company that actually uh, puts these videos out. Um, Andy Shaka, she was the one who, uh, some people have you know, heard this in other videos, she's the one who originally pushed this idea with me, who heard all of my rationalizations for why it was a bad idea, why it would never work, and who just kept you know, saying, no, you need to try it, you need to try it, and who has been supportive of me in, in this entire endeavor. Every time that I've announced a new um, project, like the Half Hour Hegel Project, like the Existentialism class, like, like a, a new channel on critical thinking, she has been behind me saying, you know, go to it, I support you 100%. So thanks to, to Andy for that. Um, I'd like to also say thank you to my very active subscribers and, and commenters. Um, there's probably a good, I would say, 100 to 200 people who over the years have, have engaged a lot with these videos, uh, who have left a lot of comments. I mean, if you go on my videos, you'll see, you'll see their, their names coming up. And I don't want to single anyone out because I will inevitably leave some people out. So I just want to say those of you who've been very engaged with these videos, thank you very much for that. Um, oftentimes, like I said, it's given me support when I, I needed it or some confirmation that this is, this is the right sort of uh, 
activity for me to be engaged in. I'd also like to say a special thank you for the backers of the Half Hour Hegel Project. You know, I created a, a Patreon page specifically to support the production of the Half Hour Hegel videos, which require an awful lot of work on my part, but which are generating something that's going to be of lasting significance and value for decades to come. So some people have chosen to become Patreon backers and they, they contribute a certain amount per video. Um, that has been really great to see because it allows me to, to make a, a bit more of a living at, at doing this. Um, the last things that I want to say uh, on this thank you video is that, uh, you know, some people have worried that I'm going to go somewhere with this. Um, I don't think there's any danger of me getting picked up by a network or, or anything along those lines. This is an academic channel, and I'm not going anywhere. Even if I, I, I do have other endeavors. You know, I do philosophical counseling. I, I uh, you know, teach for other places. I, I build courses. I do consulting. But I think I'm, you know, at least for the next 10 years, I'm going to keep on putting a lot of my effort into creating YouTube videos, in part because there's so much need for high quality videos in the area of philosophy, and there's not an awful lot of people who seem to be willing to invest the time to do that. So I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do that. Um, I've got some new channels that I started um, this year. One of them already has um, quite a few uh, um, subscribers, the Critical Thinking, Logic, and Argumentation channel, and I'll be adding more videos to that as time goes on and building that out like I've built out this channel. I also have a History of Philosophy channel that I haven't added that much to, but uh, I will be later this year, so you know, keep your eyes open for that. Um, I'm going to be doing this for years to come. I've got a lot of really cool projects planned beyond the Half Hour Hegel. I'm thinking about doing that sort of approach with um, other texts like Heidegger's Being in Time, Descartes' Meditations, um, you know, Aristotle's Metaphysics, all, all sorts of things along those, those lines. Uh, I'll be doing a lot more core concept videos. Um, there's existentialism videos yet to shoot. There's a lot of cool content yet uh, to bring out. But, you know, there's, time is, is the, the factor there. If I had 48 hours a day, I would actually be able to get as much done as I, I want to get done. But we only get our, our 24. In any case, once again, let me uh, reiterate thanks to everybody who has made this channel into a success. Thanks to everybody who has subscribed, shared videos, commented. Um, stick around. I, I hope that you'll stay engaged and that you'll, uh, you know, keep on um, commenting and, and keep on sharing this stuff and uh, that you'll, you know, watch this for years to come.